Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here today. So we're gonna get a message from your Holy Spirit team that you need to know at this time. Okay, so we have three piles today. Pile one, you're gonna be choosing Healer of the Ages, Jesus here. Pile two, your choice is Door to Romance. Number 33, wow, that's funny. Pretty sure Jesus was Life Path 30. No, wait, no, wait. What was it? He was um, Master Number 33, I think. And then Journey, Pile 3. All right, guys. Thank you for being here. So let's get a message from Spirit about what you need to know at this time. Pile 1. Holy Spirit, please, Pile 1. Healer of the Ages. I heard the name Heather. You could live in a city or you'd be visiting a city with the name Saint in it, like Saint Augustine or Saint Louis or something, you know? Something like that. Nine of Pentacles. What do you need to hear? Temperance. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify that. Justice. Ace of Wands. Page of Cups. I feel like someone close to you, could be a Sagittarius, a Libra, or a mother figure, is looking at you kind of child, like a child, very childishly. And it's as if your spirit team is kind of blocking your finances right now. How so? Six of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Something about like, you guys might be afraid of success because someone around you. Guys, I think there's something that, that's hidden that needs to come to light about in your psyche about how you want success, but your passion is quickly dying out because you have something here lodged in your mind about someone seeing you like a child. They don't think that you can spend your money wisely. You might be blowing your money on stupid shit. You might be doing something like that and it's kind of a sub it's like a subconscious message that you've repeatedly told yourself or someone has. I feel I feel like a, a mother figure. It's like spirit is not really trying to hold your money back. It's like you're holding your money back because there's an unconscious blockage here. About what? What is it about? Four of Swords. of wands. I feel like you have these great ideas to put into practice. Like I feel a lot of you are needing to put a lot of fiery energy towards something. You have a great idea, but you're not, you're wondering why you don't feel compelled to do it. There's something about how a woman is viewing you. Eight of wands in reverse. It's like a woman in your life has viewed you like a, like a child who can't be trusted with much. I feel like you get great ideas and you go to implement them and then you fail. It's like you get it and you fail and you get a new one and you fail and you get a new one. It's like nothing can ever take hold here. Justice, yeah. Like things are trying to balance in your favor. You can't make it up. I said balance in your favor. There's a temperance card about balance. Something about justice and balance, or justice and, um, wow, all these cards are coming up a second time through a different deck. Wait, what? Pile one's getting a redo at something. Yeah, the fool, there it is. But it's like somebody in your family sees you as a child, immature, like taking reckless steps. The reason you're not getting success, again, the world. Jeez, these are all repeating cards. 
Four of Swords as well. My God, and the world again. Come on. I feel like you guys want to take a, a leap of faith. Some of you might be wanting to move. I don't know. This is like, even if you're physically moving away from this woman, she still got you somehow mentally thinking about how you really won't amount to much. It's almost like she's, there's a woman in your life looking at you like you're a toddler or something. Wow, wow. I just flipped, I just shuffled to the Six of Cups. She, this is how she sees you like a kid. Not very strong, like, right, yeah. Not very strong at all. Libra, Sagittarius. Leo, maybe. She kind of sees you as weak, like, you're gonna blow your money or you're gonna like influence people in a negative uh, direction. Why do you need to know this? The star, because a lot of you are wondering like why you can't get far, why you get this great idea and you go to take off with it and it's not working, 10 of swords. It's like it's over before it begins. It's like the right idea, the right time, but the wrong mindset. I think that you believe people are kind of seeing you like this, like the page, the page of wands, instead of the king or the queen. And it's because of how somebody looks at you, how somebody treats you. You might want to try cord cutting, guys, because I'm getting that you're the hierophant. I'm not getting that you're the page of wands. I'm getting that somebody looks at you like you're the page of wands, but you're really the hierophant here with the healer of the ages. Okay? You're really some sort of leader. And... I can't tell if it's, um, it's like a projection made onto you by a woman and it's like you can't, you can't differentiate between her, her thoughts and your thoughts. I feel like even if you guys try getting away from this, this woman, it's like she's still in your mind. I can almost hear her saying things to you in your own head. Like you think it's your voice, but it's really her attitude. It's like your voice, but her yeah, her negativity, her orders, her, it's gonna be like a stepmom or a mother-in-law or like a, a, a mom. Five, yeah, you can't get, I feel like you guys are like, I can't get out of it. I can't get out of it. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Like, it's her negativity though. It is her negativity. Look at this, the devil, the 10 of wands. I feel like I need to tell you guys like, this is not yours. This is not you, it's her. This, this is a woman in your life. Leo energy. I feel like every time you guys get a new idea, I, f I feel like saying you poor soul, you poor soul, because you go to take a leap of faith, and I know you do, I know you do it. You run with it. Your guides are almost like, we feel so bad watching you consistently every time we give you something new, go for it. You go for it every time. And every time it ends up in defeat. You can't even get from the Ace of Wands to the Two of Wands. It's like it fails before it even starts. It's like you need to know this about this woman, okay? You need to know something. I would try energy cord cutting. I, I, I would. Strength Leo again. She's, she's, oh, you know what I just heard? What's that? Samson and, Samson and Delilah where Delilah cut off all his hair, but his hair was a strength. There's something about this woman wants you weak as hell. And they, she wants you, she wants people around you to, to think that you're weak, childish, immature. Justin, Justine, something like that. That could be your name. The hermit. Ooh. There's a lot more here than just you guys being like disliked or disowned or discarded. This is, this is this woman somehow actively participating in your life looking like this. You have a lot of major arcana plus a lot of aces. I don't understand how your life doesn't look better. That's what I'm getting. All these aces, all these fucking major arcana, which are duplicates, duplicates. The hermit, devil, strength, justice, justice, sag uh, temperance, temperance, fool, the star, what the hell? How does your life not look better? That's what I'm getting. I don't understand, guys. 
pile one. I feel like this woman is somehow communicating. Like, I feel like there's some sort of magic going on or something. Like, can I more? Can I have more? Boundaries. Yeah, guys. She's pushing her bound. She's pushing the limits, I'm hearing. I feel like you already have boundaries with this woman. I feel like she hides hides in your energy somehow like if you guys haven't heard from this woman or seen her in dreams or something it's almost like she's a leech like she's in your energy bubble like she's in your auric field hiding hiding out this is really wrong there's something wrong about this we have joy hmm what's this choices and fame. A lot of you really are trying to get recognized for something. That I do see here. Um, yeah, and it's it's like your spirit guides are so sad because they're like, look at this. We have psychic gift on the bottom and abundance. You have an abundance of gifts, abundance of fun, abundance of ideas. Ab this woman is doing something. Let me get tarot on this. What the fuck is happening here? What's this woman doing? What's this woman doing? I feel like she wants people to view you as if you're a kid, like really immature. You don't know what the hell you're doing, like through a really distorted lens. Like she wants people to see you as like this immature when really you're the opposite of it. The hangman, she's making you stuck. I'm telling you another major arcana here, Pisces energy. Something about bats. You could, she could have bats in her house or something about a bat. I don't know, that could be for somebody. The Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands. See, this is what I'm getting. You guys keep getting these amazing ideas. It's almost like Spirit is giving you the Ace of Wands to change your fate, and it's not your, it's not your fault. You are taking up, look at this justice for the third fucking time. It's not your fault, it's not fair. I feel like crying for you guys because it's not fair. Pile one. You have a pl plethora of joy, a plethora of happiness, a plethora of ideas, a plethora of spiritual guidance, abundance, and protection. Yet, you're getting nowhere. As of late, I heard. As of late, you feel like you're not getting anywhere. Seven of Cups, bro. Empress, I'm telling you, it's this woman. There is a woman, a motherly figure, doing some shit for pile one, all right? Seven of cups here. I'm telling you, these are like, this is, look, mother of cups on the bottom, queen of cups, with the fool right under it. This mother is making you, the son or the daughter, son of cups right there, look like a complete buffoon, I heard, a buffoon. I don't know what that means. Four of cups, the lovers. She's making people not choose you. I don't know if this is witchcraft. I don't know. I don't know if this is a spell or just gossip or what, but like. Part of the magic is that you will feel guilty for saying goodbye to her. That you'll feel really a lot of guilt for being like, no, get the fuck out of my energy. Don't ever talk to me again. Two of Pentacles. I don't know guys um i'm kind of seeing that like if you keep this woman around if you keep this up and you don't walk away eight of cups like if you don't walk away from her i feel like you're not gonna run out of ideas you're gonna run out of steam to get the ideas accomplished you're gonna lack the motivation to get something done and it's so sad. It's so sad because these are great ideas. And I feel like they come to you repeatedly. It's not just one time. Door to value. Yeah, that's it right there. Like you're getting these ideas so that you can make money. I'm getting that a profit. Maybe like you are a profit, maybe. But you're going to make a profit on, on some idea, right? And, and it's like the door keeps closing on your ideas. The time period for you to go after it is closing each time. So you get a new idea, boom, it's over. A new idea, boom, it's over. It's like this woman though. I don't know, I can't figure it out. 
Indecision, right there it is. I can't figure it out, guys. I'm really hella indecisive. It's almost like this woman wants people to be indecisive about you. I heard closeted patience here. Patience. The, the, it's like it's like you have deadlines or a timeline. You know, it, it's like you have you have an idea and you have a certain amount of time to accomplish it, but then. It's like you kind of just rest on your laurels or like you take the lazy route, it feels, because yeah, I'm hearing do, 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 like that's the energy, like, oh, I have all day, I have all day, it's fine, I don't really need to do it. It's like, but you do, you do need to act on it, act on impulse, and I feel like you guys are acting on impulse, but it's like you can only ever get the ace, you don't ever get to the two or the three or the four, it's like you always get stuck at the one. Yeah, speaking of one, we have the first chakra here. Archangel Michael. You might want to call on Archangel Michael because I'm really getting something here about like cord cutting, guys. Like this is no joke. Like, okay, what I have learned in cord cutting is that it feels so much easier to let people go when you're not emotionally invested anymore. So cord cutting first and then the emotional attachment goes away naturally. So that when you say goodbye, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't feel so much like you're betraying this person. But this person is certainly betraying you. That's for damn sure. And all these great ideas you have. It's, it's like not even that you're... I don't know. It's not that you're failing. Or failing to try. Or failing to risk it all with the fool. It's, it's not that. It's just that like it can't be implemented for some reason. I'd really look at this, guys. Okay, I'd really look at this because this woman is uh, fucking up your life. Okay, all right, I'm gonna leave it there. If you guys want a personal, all the information is down in the description. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Hi, guys, those who chose the door to romance card pile two, welcome to your reading today. Thank you for being here. Let's see what we have for you, Holy Spirit. Are the name Tabitha? I'm hearing you could be going on a cruise soon or, or just got off a cruise or something about a cruise, a cruise ship. Hmm, what's going on? Pile two. The star. The Hierophant. Ooh. Ooh, the Knight of Cups, guys. The Knight of Cups. Looks like your romantic life is about to imp improve a lot soon. Like a lot. Like there's a lot of healing that I think is unexpected. Unexpected growth spurts I heard in your person. An unexpected growth spurt in your person. Your favorite color could be red. Queen of Pentacles, I say that and then she's dressed in red here. You could be wearing red today. I'm also getting something about like your person could be bald or you could be balding. Let's keep going. Pile two. Dude. Ooh. Six of wands, I'm telling you. Your love life, the chariot. We do have the Five of Swords here right under the higher font. Why is that? World. Oops. Oops. Judgment. Oops. I'm too lazy to pick that up. That's the higher font on the or high priestess on the floor. Oh. Oh. Uh. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. the world judgment and six of wands. Yeah, I'm hearing your person thought that they could do it without you. They thought they didn't really need you. The high priestess is on the floor and I'm not willing to pick her up. The high priestess is here. The high priest is here. However, the high priestess is on the floor and I feel too lazy to pick her up. And it's almost something like... <sighs> A very patriarchal person here. I heard this person used to be okay with you being silent and not like letting you speak up about important facts or topics or something like that. Because they realized it was going to cause a lot of conflict in some way, like in their family group, a dynamic here, a friend group, a religious group, something like that with the high priest and priestess, the star and the six of wands. You guys are meant to be known for something. I'm going to go out on a limb and say definitely the sun here. Um, 
these three cards indicate world like fame for me like known for something you two known for something like literally both of you known for the high priest and priestess here judgment like you you two are supposed to be known wow but this person had to pick up the high priestess and do you think they wanted to do that probably not but i am getting they have to and they're recognizing this now so let's see what the tarot says about your next situation here with this person what about this connection please spirit now that we've picked up the high priestess and you're an equal counterpart now what temperance this person used to look down on you, I'm hearing. They used to look down on you. Sagittarius energy. Uh, Leo. Aquarius. Three. Yeah, now you guys are willing to work with the divine. Now you're both willing to work this out. You're both willing to work with each other. You're both will willing to work with the divine. It's like you both have laser-focused intention on making this work together collectively. Mm -hmm. Together together ace of swords two of pentacles you two together are kind of like bound to each other and this mission now so this is actually for a twin flame i can feel it you guys are supposed to be doing something in the public eye and your person starting to understand that what is it that they're supposed to be doing the world you can't make it up guys i'm getting world wide web here like you guys are going to be doing something together online the hermit Maybe from home. I don't see you guys doing like a like something on a stage or anything, but I heard forum, a public forum, King of Swords, the Emperor. I, again, I'm getting that whole patriarchal bullshit. Like just the masculine being like, nope, it's me and me and me and me and, and me and me and me, me and me, 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 me. And they threw the high priestess away. knight of wands yeah yeah but she's still there she's still there queen of swords so i feel like this person got humbled um your person got humbled recently and was told you either uh no they weren't given a choice they weren't given a choice they were told you will be doing this period there is no choice there really is no choice seven of pentacles like you will be investing there is no choice you have to invest you have to invest in the future. You have to invest in humanity looking better than this shit show. You have to invest. And and um, the high the high priest here is investing now. Page of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Yeah, this person's eating humble pie. Okay two of cups coming towards you to let you know like okay you're right i do need your help i need your help after all because whatever it is they tried to do it wasn't working it wasn't working it was fun because it, it like fed their ego but they're not they're miserable this person is miserable so they're coming towards you six of wands two of cups because these these men are facing the woman here look at this this is the man is facing the woman here, right? But then this is how this looks. Finally, the high priestess is about to gain some respect here. Huh. Any advice here? What do you what advice do we have for pile two? Stop. Would you guys even believe me? Purpose. Life purpose. I know what I am here to do. Look at that. Come on, man. That's fucking magic. Adversity. I think it's, I think they got pushed too far by the divine. Grief. Yeah. They went through too much grief that they got pushed to the edge and now they're like, okay, fine, fine, fine. I surrender. I surrender. Life purpose. No problem. Fine. Fine. You win. You win. I remember some of my best moments ever in life were when I was pushed to the brink and, and God was like, sit your ass down, Jenna. I'm going to show you, I'm going to school you. And I remember so many instances where I'd be like, okay, fine, you win, God, because you win all the time. Look at this. Purity and patience. 
they've lost their patience. Like they don't, they, it's, it's, they, they face too much adversity. Unexpected challenges here. They faced way too much karma. Your person snapped. They snapped. You guys might have felt this energetically. You feel it. They snapped and they told the divine, fine, you win. You win. Fine. Fine, I need the feminine. I need the feminine aspect here because I can't do it by myself. That's what I'm seeing. The devil. Ooh, with the king of cups. You guys, I'm getting patriarchal bullshit. That's what I'm getting here. Like only the patriarchy, not the matriarch. They're, they're, it was like lacking the feminine here for balance. So why do you need to know this? Six of Pentacles. The moon. Some of you are still really unsure whether you should trust this person or not because like what motive do they have? What motive do they have in giving to you? Six of, Six of Pentacles, I do see though they really do want to give. They have to contribute. Could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. the fool two of pentacles a lot of you really want to take this slow yeah ace of swords because like you don't understand their methods you don't understand like why are they coming back yeah like because you look really abundant right now and you're wondering are they going to take advantage of you but i'm getting i, I the reason i'm relaying this message is because they're not gonna they're, they can't they can't they already know that they have to do this so it's legit. It's 100% legit. If somebody here just came back from the past, your person that you've wanted for a really long time, and it's like they just got their ass handed to them, okay? By the divine. They're like, yeah, yeah. They're good now, guys. I heard the name Chris. I just saw a woman's name. I'm trying to see what it was. I'm getting Melissa, Elizabeth. Mariah, I heard Mariah. Mm -hmm. Advice, advice for pile two. Advice for pile two. Wow, you're gonna be off the market soon if you're not already, guys. Some of you here might be single, but you're not gonna be for very long. Look at this, Queen of Swords. This person is recognizing and acknowledging that you know your shit, that you were supposed to cut them off. Like Knight of Pentacles, you were supposed to be drawing boundaries. I feel like I feel like there's gonna be um, a little bit of a difference in the the speed of investment. Like you're gonna to want to go slower than this person. And I think that's where it's it's really weird for you because it never used to be like that. I think you used to want to go fast, and they wanted to go slow. Now the it's ta the tables have turned. But that's because this person just met their fucking maker or something. This person just literally went to God, got their ass handed to them. Okay, so now they want to go faster than you do. That's what I'm getting here. Knight of Swords, please. Yup, King of Wands, honey. This person is laser motherfucking focused. Okay, focused. Ace of, or that's not what I meant. King of Wands, Knight of Wands. Motherfucking focus, focus. I don't know if that's a song, but I feel like it is. I feel like there's a song that's Ace of Pentacles, the sun, the strength. Look, oh shit, Ace of Cups. Leo energy, heavy Aries, Leo Sag right now. Definitely Leo. I'm motherfucking focus. There's a song that I'm trying to think of what it is. Um, anyway, I'm getting a song lyric for you guys and it's I'm focused. I'm really, really focused. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. I do definitely feel like pile two, you're a little bit uncertain. Abundance, because you're, you're really protecting your abundance right now and you don't want this person to come in and steal anything. I'm getting they're not gonna steal a damn thing. They're gonna have to come in giving equally. So they're going to prove it that they're motherfucking laser focused. Ah, what is that song? I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Because I'm motherfucking laser focused. Yeah? Anyway, anyway, there's a song about that. <laughs> This person's extremely uh, geared towards you now. It's they can't stop. They've already they like had their come to Jesus moment. But I think the reason you're scared is because all of a sudden you feel abundant now. 
Yep, indecision. You can't make it up. I do see you guys indecisive about a relationship in reverse. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You're indecisive about a relationship, bitch. If I am not the best tarot reader on the planet, if you'd like to book a reading with me, all the information is down below. But yeah, you guys can totally trust this person. They went to Jesus. Look at that growth on the split. They went to Jesus, honey. Change. Massive change on the horizon for this connection because this person went to Jesus. And you know what? Jesus sat their ass down and said, boy, get it straight. Get it straight. You're the high priest, sure, but there's a priestess as well, so get it straight. So another lady, some motherfucking focus. Da -da 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 -da. I can't think of that song. Hostilities here. Let's see. I just keep hearing they're laser focused on you. Um, what are they laser focused on, please, this high priest? Broken heart. Healing the bro healing the bridge, but healing the gap between you two. Healer of the ages and broken heart. Guys, they want to heal this broken heart of yours. They did it. They know they did it. They know they did it. Look at this. They know they did it. Like they had your heart in a cage. They didn't want anybody else to have it, but they, they didn't want to act on it. So now this person went to Jesus. Look at that. And then there's the Jesus card. You guys could be twin flames here. Could be. <laughs> Some about Jesus. I don't know. Could be important here. We have the son, the son of God, and the number 33, which I think was Jesus's number. I don't know, guys. I think he ascended at 33 years old or some shit. I'm not sure. Anyway, this person could be a Christian or you could, something like that. I did hear the name Chris, didn't I? Um, any other message here for pile two? What do you need to know? Knight of Wands. <laughs> oh gosh. What? What's that? Nine of Swords. Some of you are like, though they are very much sexually charged towards you, a lot of you think that that's all there is. No, they're going to hold back. They're going to hold back the chariot. They're definitely geared towards you romantically, sexually, but like, they're not like they used to be. I'm, I'm getting that. They're, they are coming towards you, but they're going to hold back and they're not going to be all like creepy about it. <laughs> it's not like this person's going to be invasive. They definitely like you romantically. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. They're holding back. They have something to offer you. I, I heard key to a house. Somebody might be moving in with your person. You might be moving in. Woo! King of Pentacles. Lord Jesus. What is this? nine of that girl or guy whoever you are honey because i'm like the fucking focused <laughs> i can't think of the lyrics okay can you tell <laughs> i'm i'm getting a zit magically right here in my third eye as i'm as i'm literally recording i'm getting a zit right here Somebody, some of the freaking focus. I got it. What song is that? Guys, if you're getting song lyrics, it's, I think it's your person sending them, okay? Because I can't get it out of my head. What is this person seeing right now? Psychically. Oh my God. I went to go look at my Google and it says, you have 2020 vision. Oh my God, that's crazy. Yeah, it says you have 2020 vision if you can spot something in this photo or something like that. Yeah, this person's getting crystal clear vision about who you are to them. Seven of Pentacles, the magician, the four of wands. Girl, I literally called it twin flames. A lot of you might even be twin flames. They think you are putting in work to manifest them and vice versa. You guys are manifesting each other. One last card here about pile two. What does their person need them to know? Better connection to source. Why? Thank you, Jesus. That's why. You got their ass handed to them, hunty. You best believe it. You best believe this person was on their knee. On their knees praying to God. 1111, bitch. I am so... You're welcome. Free reading. You're welcome. 
LOA. What did I just say? You're manifesting this for, girl, I can't even. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I will never doubt my intuition ever again. I feel like that's you guys. You're like, I'll never doubt my intuition. I knew it was my person. I knew it was my person, but they thought they could do it themselves. They thought they could do it themselves. And so divine intervention came in and really kicked this person into gear. Guys, I'm telling you, you are, you are, whew, you are a powerful law. I heard coach. You could even coach. You guys, I heard law of assumption coach. That's what I just heard. Law of attraction, law of assumption coach. You totally could do that. You're attracting new love into you. Yep. This person really got it through their thick skull so energetically you're going to be feeling their energy shift towards you very soon okay because i'm laser motherfucking focus oh god what is that song all right i think it's I, let me please just this I don't know where I'm gonna find it. Oh guys, come on. That is like the best song ever. Oh no, I typed in the word. Oh no, I typed in, cause I'm laser motherfucking focused. I typed that into the search engine and I got a lot of not great websites that just popped up on my phone. <laughs> Uh-oh. <clears throat> anyway, so let's just um, get out of there. Okay, anyway, that is what I have for you guys. If you would like a personal with me, all the information is in the description below. I love you guys. Yeah, your person went to Jesus, honey. They got their ass handed to them. They're really working on bringing in the feminine aspect of this connection a lot more okay all right i'll talk to you guys later bye bye hey guys those who chose file three welcome to your reading those who chose the journey card let's find out what you need to know today what are you being challenged with right now pile three i heard looking the part looking the part i I heard you guys want to like break down and cry right now. I heard do it, do it. Two, three, four, five might be important for you. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know, ascending numbers. I'm hearing do it. Like a lot of you want to break down in tears and cry either in front of someone or just in general, do it. I feel like you're releasing a lot of emotions, a lot of pain and trauma when you cry. We have cornucopia here. Crown chakra. Pile three, Holy Spirit, please. What do you need to know right now, Holy Spirit? What's the crown? Something about the astral plane, your dreams. I'm really getting with the number seven here. Seventh chakra is the crown chakra. I'm really getting something about like your telepathy right now. Telepathic communication with somebody. Maybe that's coming in. We have King of Pentacles. Could be a, um, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Something about, like, people are really seeing you right now as sturdy and, like, ready for war, ready for business, ready to get down to, like, the nitty-gritty here. <whistles> Fool, I'm telling you, ready to do shit. Like, ready to go. You're ready to go. People are seeing you as ready to go. They're hearing you telepathically say, let's go, let's go. <laughs> wow. Like I heard, I heard pile three, you're telling people like, I'm bored of being bored. Let's go. The tower, like let's shake shit up. People are really hearing you right now say, let's go. You're riling up the troops. King of Thorns, honey, Knight of Cups, Page of Swords. Look at all these court cards. You, you have people from every walk of life pile through. Oh shit. Every pile, or every walk of life, a king, a knight, and a page, all wanting to take a journey with you. Holy shit. I just heard um, the face that launched a thousand ships. What? I don't know. I don't even know what that means. I don't know, guys. I'm ignorant. I can't. I don't know what that means. But I do know that you are launching some sort of rebellion or some shit. Your soul family is hearing you telepathically right now. Because I think you're crying and it's another pick. 
another, another, uh-uh, uh-uh, you guys, it's insane. This is insane in the membrane. Pile three, what you need to know is every fucking court card basically in the entire deck is on the table right now trying to fight for you, rally for you, holy shit, work for you. I don't know what this is, but if you just shared some sort of emotion in front of like a lot of people or you, you prayed to a lot of deities or some shit, I don't know, but you have all of these court cards, all of these people, knights, kings, pages, no queens, so just maybe a lot of masculine energy, a lot of masculines that are like geared up, fired up, ready to like go to war for you or some shit. What is this? That is soul family. This is soul family here. So far there's seven court cards. They're all, they're hearing you. They're hearing you say, let's see, let's see what this is. They're hearing you say something. What are you saying that these people are hearing? Please hear it. Three of so you guys, you just did something. Oh, no way, bitch. This is, this is crazy. You just did something by saying, I'm depressed, I'm sad, you cried, or you were bullied and you cried, or it's something like you expressed vulnerability, okay? You did. And then suddenly, you have like an entire fucking army, a fleet of people. I don't, I also don't know if that's the right word, but I'm pretty sure it is. At your disposal all of a sudden. If you just cried in front of people, you have no idea how active, you just activated like everybody. The fuck? What did you do? What did you do? I, I, I need to know. You just did something, pile three. You expressed disappointment, either a whole bunch, a group, a whole bunch of people, or you express your own disappointment in you or God or somebody, I don't know. But you were you treated unfairly and you cried and you purged and when you did, people heard it. And now what? Regret. I know that I cannot change but Oh my God, these people, they're all regretting the way they treated you. Or they're regretting that they never stepped up for you or something. I'm wondering if this is a collective message because these are all men. I'm getting like, this is, these are all masculines. I don't see any feminine on the table at all in, in the form of a queen from tarot. I see only men, pages, knights, and, and kings. And it, there's something about like, you're almost making these men feel guilty for something. They're regretting something. Behavior, I don't know. The way they, they look down on you, I don't know, honey. Pile three. Spirit, what is going on here? Denial, honesty. You were very honest to them about something. And it's like you cried about it. You cried. You said, I'm being targeted. I'm being harassed. I'm being hurt. And I don't think they did anything. They denied it. They denied your honesty. They denied responsibility, but now there's a shift in blame. This is similar to pile two, but not quite. Pile two was a high priest that was going to the divine about a divine partnership. Pile three is different in that these are a whole group of men that are like not even, I don't know if they're friends. I don't know. They might, they might know each other, but they're not on the same team. Like these people are all different chaotic different walks of life they're not they're not in any group or anything like that i'm getting these are all single individual these even could be exes for some of you what happened what happened here judgment oh guys what what the heck Pile two is divine judgment also. Shit, this is gonna be a collective message, honey. These men are getting their ass handed to them. Look, collective, we're doing something right because all these men out here are going to the Lord, honey. Thank you, Jesus. It's judgment day, man. 
Look, these, I don't know. Why are there so many people here? Temperance, they all work for the divine. They all work for the divine. They're all earth angels. They're all like, they all love love. They all want to work for you. They want to work for a cause. They want to work for something that matters. But they, it's like they heard your truth. They heard your truth originally and they, they denied it. Seven of wands, yeah, they like pushed it away. They pushed you away. Like, no, we don't do that, or we don't like that, or... What's a seven of wands? The nine of wands, very defensive. Very defensive, I'm hearing. We didn't like what we heard. We didn't like what we saw, and we didn't like what we heard. We pushed it away, and then all of a sudden, something changed. I don't know what changed. Eight of swords, nine of swords. I don't know, they saw, uh, like, demons or some shit? I don't know. I don't know what they saw, honey. But whatever it was, it must have put the fear of Jesus in them because you have got to watch Pile 2. Scary, scary stuff. They saw something they didn't want to see. Did I not just say, de I don't know if it's demons, but they definitely saw something, honey. They definitely saw something. Okay, this is the number two in tarot and this is the number two, the card you chose. They definitely saw something and it was stemmed from you. It, it was originated from you, okay? The Empress, bitch, yes, it was you. It was you. You were like, I'm disappointed in you guys. Heard the name Derek? I'm hearing, I'm disappointed in you. I'm disappointed in you guys. They're like, I'm let down. I'm so let down by this group or this. I heard the name Nick as well. Death. I, yes, five of pentacles. You're like, I'm so disappointed in you guys. Like, I feel like you gave a lot to these people. And when push came to shove, you needed help and they weren't there. These people have really figured out that they're living in regret now, I'm hearing. They're living in regret. Let's get a card here from this deck. Some, I heard tips and donate. Somebody wants to give you a tip or donate to you or something like that. I did hear that. We have trip. Present moment. And spontaneity. It was like something about your energy. When you, when you were talking to these people originally, they... They thought you were a little too flighty, like you weren't really all there at first. You could have even been talking about deities, fairies, I don't know, something. Seven of Cups, whatever you were talking about, it was really kind of woo-woo and they, they didn't believe it. They thought, yeah, I heard you were on a power trip or some sort of shroom trip or something. They, they, didn't, they didn't believe you. They didn't believe you. They thought you were kind of crazy at first. That's what I'm getting psychic gift it was a gift from the divine but they thought it was like a little cuckoo that's what they thought that's what they thought we have creativity here and angels you you just have like a big imagination and they saw it they saw that you have a big imagination with party here so like a group event a group i, I don't know a coven i'm not sure what these men all were involved with but they thought you were crazy they did, they thought you were crazy. I don't know what happened, but somehow they're seeing that you're not crazy. I heard the name Victoria. And something about Niagara Falls as well, or some sort of waterfall. I'm getting Niagara Falls here. The Temple Path, look, you made them feel like they have to get on, guys, please go watch Pile 2. For the love of everything holy. Yin and yang. Oh my god, look. See, I looked at this card and I saw this yin and yang symbol here. You see? It kind of looks like this symbol, doesn't it? Right there. Hmm. Oh, <gasps> you know what I just heard? Guys. Go Google Knights of Templar. Knights of Templar. These are warriors. They were activated because of you. You're telepathically activating these soldiers for like God. I don't know, for something, for some sort of force here. The heart, the heart chakra. 
Archangel Raphael. I'm telling you, you're healing these people. You're, you're activating their heart space to start, I don't know, giving, giving back. Oh my God, you cannot make it up. Broken heart, I'm telling you. And then on the bottom here, you have contract. These people think that like they can ease their karmic burden if they open their heart space and give to people. You have just made people I said Victoria. There it is. Victory. Victory. You have people wanting to give back angel of balance because of you. They want to balance the scales, balance the karmic scales in giving back to, to, the, to the world because of what you do. I heard like whatever you did, you spooked them. You scared these people. Heard the name Tim and Nadine or something like that. You scared them. Six of Wands, the sun. They know that they will win at life. They can win at life if they can celebrate. They can celebrate again. They can be happy again if they give more. They want to give more. Look at higher font. You guys, pile two and pile three are definitely connected. Okay, go watch. But yeah, if they work with the divine, right? And then the higher font is here. If they work with the divine, they will be blessed. That's what you need to know. You are a like, legit earth angel, okay? Like 100%. And I feel like you just did something either telepathically you prayed or telepathically you told like a whole bunch of people off or in the 3D, in the physical world, you cried and you purged and you, you got sad and that activated people. Whatever you did, it was you communicated with an entire group of people and now they're they're getting judgment. They're, they're, they're under judgment. So what's coming next for pile three? What does pile three need to know about next, please, Spirit? Feeling more hopeful. And hugs. Oh. Feeling more hopeful. Yeah, I think that you're going to be comforted by these people soon. You weren't. You weren't in the past. You had to comfort and nurture yourself is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to be giving you good news soon. I'm getting. I'm getting these people are going to be communicating with you soon. Some of them at least. I saw the friends card, so yeah. You're an inspiration to these men. You are an inspiration. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I don't need to keep going. If you guys want to check out Patreon for more information, more content for star seeds, empaths, healers, all that information, twin flames, go check it out. Information's down below. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.